Well, Vicki, the area they're looking at is a nine-mile stretch between the Gene Snyder and the Simpsonville exit. It wouldn't only add an interchange, but also a new north-south connector between Taylorsville and Shelbyville roads, something drivers we spoke to tonight say is long overdue. Driving in parts of eastern Jefferson County has become challenging in recent years. As development has increased, so has the traffic. Every morning there's an accident. Lorraine Caudill has lived in Fisherville since the mid-90s. She knows when she has to make the trip to Louisville these days, she's going to need some extra time. Traffic on 155 Taylorsville Road up to the Gene Snyder is horrendous. Morning, noon, and night. She says just making a left turn onto Taylorsville Road can be a nightmare. I can sit there at least 15 minutes to 20 minutes to turn left to go into town. Caudill shared her concerns with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet during a public meeting Monday night. The cabinet is looking at adding a new interchange to I-64 somewhere along the Jefferson Shelby County line. The same stretch of road was studied back in 2008, but now they're starting from scratch. It is definitely a clean slate. Um, all options are on the table. Um, so that is why this planning study is so important so that we can receive feedback from the community as well as stakeholders in the area. The project will also add a new north-south connector linking the interchange to both Shelbyville and Taylorsville roads, something Bruce Zoller says is much needed. A lot of the roads that connect Shelbyville Road and, and Taylorsville Road are just old two-lane country roads that are not made to handle traffic. Now, another public meeting is being held this Thursday at Highview Baptist Church. You can also fill out a survey online between now and September 15th. You can find a link to it inside this story on our website and mobile app. Live in studio tonight, Drew Gardner, WLKY News. Thank